Welcome on my channel A-Creates, the channel for online tutorials and more information about game development. This week I will show you how to manipulate your screen in Game Maker Studio 2 to make them local multiplayer. And as extra I will show you how to create a mini-map as well. For this tutorial I will use the free offered Viking boat from Hylantius Games. Don't forget to unzip and download the boat so you can build the same scene. For this tutorial we will create a new game. Click on new and select drag and drop. This pop-up asks you to make a folder for your new game. Be wise with your names, don't create millions of new games, test games. Double check the location and save your game so we're going to start making one. For this tutorial we just need two sprites. Just make a simple wall like this. So we have one wall and for the player we are going to import the boats. Edit image and in the image we select import images and we are going to import a strip image. After you found the strip image of the ship, we need to change the numbers of frames to 16 and the frames per row to 16 as well. As you see it's too small so we need to also adjust the height and the width to 64 so it fits the whole image and we click on convert. Don't forget to rotate the image because in Game Maker the standard setting is that the object should point to the right. Let's first create the object of the wall. And just assign the sprite of the wall and make it solid. Let's create a new object for the player. Assign the sprites. Let's add the event with the collision of the wall, so object's wall. And we will just drag in the set speed direction zero. So we are going to add a simple movement. We are going to add the step and step event. To check the end animation on the end step. So we're taking one of the sprites from the strip. For the frame we are going to make a calculation of 360 divided by 16 which is 22.5. This calculation makes that GameMaker is taking one of the images from the stripe images that is connected with the direction of the boat. I will firstly create the movement because it is simply just changing the direction. So for the key down A we are going to change the direction to 2.5 and to D as well to minus and with the key down S with the speed direction minus 8 because it goes backwards and with W we are going to have a speed of 8 and with key down no key we will have no speed at all. If you want more information about this movement, please watch my tank tutorial. But for this tutorial, it's not really that important. You just need four players, so I'm just going to duplicate and change a few of the input settings. Now that we have everything, we can just open the room and change the settings. Make the scene a bit smaller with the control and the scroll and just drag in the object of the wall. Just drag the corners and make it visible. And drag in one by one the players in the corners, so and click on the background to change the color of the background. We will open the viewports and cameras to make little boxes around the ship. So you need to enable viewports and go into set the viewport. Game Maker counts 0 as 1, so this is the first one. And we are going to change the width to 250. To 250, that means exactly what you see on the screen. That it's going to fill a small box. Then we scroll down to the viewport properties. You cannot see that yet, but you will see it when you run the game. And we also want to have this at the same size. When you scroll down a little bit further, you can see object following and we can choose that the camera follows the object player one. We're not going to change any other settings and just create a viewport for the other. We are going to give it the same width and height for both boxes, for the camera properties and the view properties. And now we need to be aware to change the camera properties like what we are seeing 115 here you just press here there is this box and for the viewport properties we can't see it yet but it's important to use uh, 500 so it will be next to the other block and check this by pressing f5 because we entered the x position of 500 we were going to create a gap like this so if we wanted to be next to the other ship we just uh, change the x position to 250. you can tweak this like whatever you want the viewports shouldn't be that hard anymore just change the width to 250 250 and for the first one you just made the eye position to 500 so you're going down and for the viewport as well and for the viewport 3 which is like player 4 
we are going to set the X position 1115 and the I position to 500 having the box of 250 by 250 and the viewport with the X position 500 to 500. Okay, so the last step is creating the minimap. The minimap will say that it takes the whole camera view that we want. So we want the width 1366 and the height 768. And we want the same size of box. So we want to have the box of 250 by 250. And now because I created something that all fits together, I'm just creating the exposition in the middle of the middle. And so that will be also exposition 250 to 250. Check again with F5 if everything is working and we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please feel free to like and subscribe. For next week I will plan a special video, so stay tuned. This was A-Creates, create more, enjoy more.